praise our king. Yes. Welcome to Saddleback Freya. I'm, my name is Santosh. People call me Pastor Tosh. I just want to say I am so glad to celebrate with you this evening. Before you take a seat, I'd love to pray over you. Let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you that you are an amazing God. You are a king that loves us. And as we celebrate here this candlelight service, Lord, there is a message of hope that you have brought for every one of us. Lord, it's, it's, it's even in your word a prayer that I want to pray over every person. I pray that, God, that you, Lord, our source of hope, would fill every one of us completely with joy and with peace because of who you are. Lord, I pray that we would all overflow with the confident hope that comes from you. Lord, I know that this has been a crazy year, a difficult week. There are all sorts of things going on, but in the midst of it, we look to you. And we thank you that you have power over it all. We ask that you would bring hope and peace tonight. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You guys can take a seat. Wow, it is good to be here. I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve. Can you believe it, guys? Did that just sneak up on us or what? Wow. Well, if you are here for the first time, I want a special welcome for you. It doesn't matter um, where you're coming from. It doesn't matter what you've done in your life, what you've experienced. It doesn't matter um, what you are looking for. to. This is a place I want you to know that you're welcome here. You're wanted here, that this is a place that you're loved. And, and I want you guys to know, in fact, if this is your first time before you leave, we have a special gift right outside. There's some tables. We call it our Connection Center, and we have a little gift for you. We just want to say thank you for spending this evening with us. And my hope and prayer for you today is that there would not, not that you give anything, but that you would receive something, that you would be refreshed this evening, that God would actually speak truth and hope and life into you no matter what you've been going through. And, and if this is your first time, I want to just walk you through. you got a program on the way in, and you might be saying, what is going on? There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, <laughs> I want to walk you through this. Um, there's a lot of stuff I know, but I don't want you to be intimidated by that. First of all, I want you guys to know um, that there's nothing that you need to do. This is a service for you. Uh, this is a service and a time for you. So there is a lot of valuable information. Everything that's in here is, is supposed to be a blessing to you. So you can go ahead and look through it. I'm not going to go through all of the information in there. But I do want to draw your attention to just a few key things. First of all, there is a letter, a note from Pastor Rick Warren and his wife Kay Warren to you. Um, this is our founding pastor, our senior pastor for all of Saddleback. We have, we have 19 different campuses across the world. And, and, and we all are united in our vision, in our values, in the message of hope that we bring every week. And this is our senior pastor who just wanted to write you a letter. So this is in there for you. And, and by the way, if you don't know who he is, if you're coming and you're saying, well, this is great, I'm checking it out. Pastor Rick Warren, he actually wrote a book a number of years ago that was one of the biggest, uh, most, uh, most sold books in, uh, in history, actually, The Purpose Driven Life. And there's actually a nice little uh, gift for all of you. Like I said, for those of you who are here for the first time, we're actually going to give you that book. It's called The Purpose Driven Life so that you can check it out. Because what we're about here is not just about coming to a service and getting a couple hours of, of something special. Now, I do want you to always get encouraged and inspired and uplifted whenever you're here. But it's about when you go back into your life. When you go back into Monday and the rest of the days, that you know that you have a purpose to live for, that you know what your life is about. And so that's what our church is about, for you to experience the fullness of life. You'll, you'll get something out of this book. So before you leave, if this is your first time, make sure you go ahead and pick that up. It's a special gift for you. Now, there's, uh, there's also a lot of great things going on this next year. Uh, I know that uh, we're not in 2022 yet, but it is right around the corner. And you can see we have a lot of great events kicking off just next week. And uh, it's going to start off even with a New Year's kickoff party. By the way, guys, if you are um, those, uh, one of the people that loves to do resolutions, we're going to start off next week. Not this, not this coming Sunday, but next Sunday. 
uh, with, with a group. If you are starting New Year's resolutions and you want to find some people, whether it's in exercise or health or if it's in learning something new, whatever it may be, we're going to help you get connected with others so that maybe you have some partners in, in accomplishing what you want to accomplish in the new year. That We're going to do that a week from Sunday. We're going to have a lot of other really great things here. And, and part of the reason that we are doing this is because we believe life is better in community. So in your program, you'll also see a little name tag. And if you want to, I know some of you are maybe rushing off to dinner or something afterwards, but if you want to hang out even just a little while longer after the service, we have a hot cocoa bar. Uh, You can go ahead and get some hot chocolate there. And if you want to put on this name tag, you'll find somebody that you can meet, someone hopefully that you'll come back with and say, I got connected. In In the year 2022, you can start the year with a new friend. We, we love community. We love connecting with one another. So I hope for every person to come in, it's not just a hi and a bye, but somebody who's able to actually ask about your life and care about you. And uh, what we're going to also do inside here, there's, there's, a, there's some message notes and some other things that I'll get to in a little bit. But rather than tell you about what this whole message is about today, I'm going to let Pastor Rick tell you. We have a special message today on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to let Pastor Rick tell you. You can go ahead and pull out your message notes and let's join with Pastor Rick and the rest of Saddleback. <laughs> 